This is the temple of the Emerald Buddha, Thailand's most sacred religious Buddhist structure. Around the complex is a two kilometer long wall with murals of the Ramayana, depicting the story of Phra Rama or Lord Ram, the hero of the Ramakain. the national epic of Thailand and an integral part of Thai culture and art. This is the current king of Thailand, Vajira Longkorn of the Chakri dynasty, known popularly as King Ram X. It was his ancestor Vajira Vud, the sixth king of erstwhile Siam, who came to be known as King Ram. To this day, the King of Thailand is crowned by Brahmins of Gorakhpur and Buddhist monks in a ceremony that is laced with both Hindu and Buddhist rituals. Almost every street in Thailand has a shrine worshipping Lord Brahma, the creator. When you land in Thailand, the airport is called Suvarnabhumi, Sanskrit for Golden Land. So how does a Buddhist majority Thailand continue to preserve its Hindu roots and influence? The story goes back to the kingdom of Ayodhya, 3,500 kilometers from Lord Ram's Ayodhya in India. Today, NewsX takes you for the first time to the ancient city of Ayodhya, where remnants of a glorious Hindu kingdom of Thailand continue to run deep within the ruins. Behind me, are the remains of what were once majestic palaces, bustling markets, and sacred temples. Founded in 1350 by King Utong or Rama Tibadi I, Ayutthaya was the second Siamese capital after Sikotai. For over four centuries, it drove at the center of politics, trade, and culture, attracting traders from across the globe. Ayutthaya was renowned for its meticulous structure, urban layout, marked by the roads, canals and moats encircling its major building. This design strategically utilized the location of Mystery River and featured a highly advanced, globally unique hydraulic system for water management, showcasing the city's technological prowess during that time. Hindu motifs, inspired by the Ramayana and other epics, are intricately carved alongside Buddhist iconography, illustrating the coexistence and interweaving of these two major religions in Ayutthaya history. This fusion of style not only adds to the aesthetic appeals, but also tells a story of the city's rich, pluralistic past. Just nine years later, in 1991, Ayutthaya, along with other historical parks like Sukhothai, Sisachanalai, and Gampante, was announced by UNESCO as the World Heritage Sites. Here in Ayutthaya, you'll find 425 archaeological sites, both within and outside the ancient city walls. The tradition of Thai kings taking the name of Lord Ram dates back to King Ramati Bodhi, the founder and first king of a glorious Thai kingdom. I'm currently standing at Wat Param or Rama Temple, a site of immense historical and religious significance. Here, amidst these sacred walls and towering statues, one can feel the spiritual pulse of ancient Ayutthaya. Wat Param in Ayutthaya represents more than a religious site. 
It's a historical landmark erected on King Zutong cremation site. The temple's architecture, which is blend of Hindu and Buddhist influences, stands as a resilient symbol of Thailand's diverse past and the enduring faith of its people, inviting visitors to delve deep into the his history of Ayutthaya. Despite the vast 3,500 kilometers separating them, it's profoundly anchored in their mutual reference for Lord Rama. This chair adoration goes beyond religious practices, reflecting in the intertwined mix and cultural narratives that have shaped Thai tradition over the ages. The significance of Lord Rama extends beyond Ayutthaya to Ratanakosin era, which is the current era in Thailand. When King Rama I, initiators of Siam Chakri dynasty, became king in 1782, he chose the name Rama Tibodi, echoing Ayutthaya's founding monarch and Lord Rama. This sets a precedent with all following Thai kings choosing the name Rama, showing the enduring influence of Lord Rama in Thai tradition. The erstwhile city of Ayutthaya is a glimpse into the rich Hindu history of Thailand and how the footprint of Lord Ram extends well beyond India. Bureau Report, News X.